Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collective Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. During the next seven to eight minutes of this video presentation, we are going to go over our buying process. So if you're already familiar with our process or you've watched our videos in the past, please feel free to fast forward to today's vehicle presentation. In Daytona Beach, we have a 25,000 square foot facility where we house 60 to 70 collector cars, all of which we own. Hangsters.com. We are an internet-based business. We have 100, well, 80 to 100 photographs on our website of each vehicle, along with a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we have this content on our website is because the majority of the transactions we conduct, conduct month after month and year after year are done sight unseen. Yes, people wire us money for 30, 50, $70,000 cars without ever coming to look at them. However, I do not encourage that you do this. Um, classic cars, they're awesome, nostalgic, have great looks, uh, get a lot of compliments, a lot of eyeball, a lot of appeal. Um, but they're 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not that brand new car that you're gonna go get from your Ford or Dodge dealer or Chevrolet dealership. Um, they all have flaws, deficiencies, weaknesses, tendencies, some of which we try to disclose in our video presentation and in our photos on our website. I encourage you to come in person to check out the car for yourself. We would gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint condition, interior condition, real good out in the natural light. You can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, look the car real good with your own eyes. We have two twin post lifts here in our Daytona showroom. We'd be more than happy to put the car in the air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, uh, the suspension components, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pan condition, the tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, accelerates, how the transmission shifts, how the ride feels, if there's any noises you don't like, if there's any kind of vibrations or, or anything like that you do not like. This way, when the vehicle shows up to you wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself in its entirety. In our photo shoots and in our video presentations, we try to represent each vehicle as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can and offer full transparency. However, we can only cover so much content in a 20 minute video presentation and this is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check the car out for yourself. What happens next? Once you decide on your classic ride, where do we go from here? If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you wanna bring us cash, we'll take that too. That does still spend today, believe it or not. Maybe you don't have the cash to buy one of these cars. What, what are my financing options? We work with a few different collector car lenders that offer terms on these vehicles. The terms start at five years and they go up to 15 years. Approval is going to be based on your credit bureau, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, things like that. I discussed 15 year term. They aren't going to do 15 years on a $25,000 car. There is price cutoffs for that 15 year approval and obviously you have to qualify on the credit end. The uh, loans from the lenders are simple interest loans, which means if your payment's $500 a month and you pay $800 a month, the extra $300 goes towards principal. Also, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for an eight-year term, which is about the average approval term, and you pay it off in 12 months, they aren't going to penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics also. Short-term money loans, you can do that. And then you can pull money out of your home equity line or your 401k or pull cash out of the bank, whatever the circumstances that you have are. Once the vehicle is paid for, what happens? The car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We sell old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We torque the lug nuts, we check the tire pressure, we check the fluid levels, make sure the AC's blowing cold if it's equipped, make sure your brake lights work, your horn works, your wipers work, all of that stuff. Once it's green lighted and the guys say it's good to go, then we detail it. After it goes through detail, a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, 
If you're in a more rural or remote destination or a holiday falls in there, or maybe you're on the West Coast where they do fewer runs because of obviously the travel distance, it may take three, four, five business days to get a truck here, but I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We are excited we earned your business as a customer. We will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're the one handling the shipping, let's say you're sending your own carrier or you're coming with your own enclosed or open transport or you're driving the car home because you're close enough, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready and you can come pick the vehicle up. That about covers our uh, purchasing process here at Hangsters Hot Rods of Daytona. So let's get started with today's vehicle presentation. One of the uh, hottest commodities in our business currently is the Chevrolet Chevelle. And today we have a very desirable car. It's a butternut yellow 1968 big block car. Let's check it out. 396 motor as indicated on the air cleaner. Uh, up here on the hood closure on the driver's side, you do have a cowl tag. We will have a photo of that on our website. <coughs> Brake booster mounted on the uh, driver's side firewall. That is uh, significant because that means the car has power brakes. Here on the uh, corner of the fender on the driver's side is your power steering reservoir. So the car is equipped also with power steering. And then on the uh, passenger side front of the block here, you have an AC compressor. The car is a factory AC car. So AC, power steering, power brakes, big block, butternut yellow, black stripes, black vinyl top. <clears throat> this car is fantastic in condition and quality. So let's take a look here closer. Your black stripes are vinyl on the hood. They are not discolored, not cracked. Uh, not peeling. Uh, your grills here in your hood scoops are not patinaed or uh, pitted. So uh, those are in good shape. The butternut yellow paint on the top of the fenders, top of the hood. The color's uniform, the clear is uniform, and there are no uh, blisters, spider webs, fish eyes, anything like that going on. Here on the nose piece, there is uh, two brush touch marks. The color matches perfectly, but you know, a stone must have thrown up off the road or something, so there are two brush touches there on the uh, nose of the car. <clears throat> Taking a step back, the chrome quality and clarity is excellent on the front of the vehicle. Your headlight bezels are in good shape. Uh, the grill's not broken or cracked. Your front bumper, uh, no uh, chrome peel, rusting, uh, pitting, anything like that going on on the uh, front bumper on this vehicle. Stepping around to the driver's side of the car, 396 in the marker light there, <clears throat> driver's side front fender. Let's take a look at the paint on the fender, both high and low. Uh, there are no paint issues. There's no uh, uh, blisters or uh, paint peel or uh, cracks, anything like that. Uh, down low uh, on this car, bottom of the fender, doors, quarters, it is painted black, so we'll take a look at that throughout the uh, presentation as well. Uh, Five-star Craggers, raised white letter BFGs. Tires have good tread, uh, good tire life on them, and the chrome Craggers are nice. They're not pitted or uh, patinaed, anything like that. Let's jump up here for a moment to the front windshield. Uh, real nice glass clarity, uh, no cracks, no chips your uh, chrome that encompasses the front windshield in nice shape. The vinyl top, uh, real nice condition. There's no uh, you know, rust bubbles or any kind of uh, issues going on above the front windshield, uh, down your A pillar. And we'll take a look at the rest of the vinyl top here throughout our presentation. Uh, continuing with your glass clarity, your vent window, driver door glass and rear quarter window, all in real nice shape. And then your chrome drip rail molding here, also in nice condition on the car and installed like it should be. Taking a look at the door fitment, it fits nicely to the front fender on the driver's side and then to the rear quarter. And then down low, there's no uh, 
blisters or bubbles or paint cracks on the uh, driver door whatsoever. Uh, your aluminum molding here that starts out on the fender, continues on the door, and then goes to the rear quarter uh, in nice condition. I think that separates things well. You go from your uh, butternut yellow to your black vinyl stripe to your chrome uh, aluminum molding, then down to your black uh, panel there at the bottom of the door, fender, quarter, rocker, uh, in real nice shape. There are a couple little dings here, uh, little chips on the rocker. But other than that, there's no uh, signs of any kind of subpar workmanship on this car. Let's take a look at the interior real quick. Uh, starting out with the door panel. Uh, door panel's in great shape, uh, not all warped, uh, discolored, torn, uh, armrests in nice condition. The interior of the car is in real nice shape as well. Let's take a look first at the back seat. Um, Vinyl is real nice. Rear OEM seat belts. Floor mats in the car are brand new. Carpeting underneath the floor mats in real great shape. Your uh, seat backs are not falling off. They're not cracked. They're not heavily scratched. Your chrome is not peeling off the seat back. Uh, OEM seat belts in the front as well, and then of course your vinyl and your seat cushion in the car in real nice uh, shape, real nice condition. Take a look uh, up front here, Chevelle floor mat, brand new, carpeting underneath the floor mat, no issues there. Aftermarket steering column, tilt wheel, uh, newer steering wheel. Dome light illuminates when I open up the driver door, no rips or tears in the headliner. Pretty sweet car inside and outside. Let's go back to our vinyl top. No issues around a drip rail. No issues where the uh, vinyl top meets the quarter there. Let's stick with the quarter panel. Look at the paint. Real nice condition, no issues whatsoever. We'll get a nice close shot for you behind the uh, rear wheel, rear, rear tire area. Show you that there's no issues going on there. Once again, Krager's in the rear, uh, just as nice as the one we showed you in the front. Take a look at our wheel photos on our website. We get a nice still photo of each wheel. Now look at your body lines here, down the side of the car. There are no waves in the rear quarter, zero waves in the driver door. Uh, front fender, all your panels fit nicely. This is a high quality 1968 Chevelle. I do not have any or we do not have any documentation on this car in terms of when the vehicle was painted, uh, when the uh, motor has possibly been rebuilt, um, you know, anything like that. If we had it, we disclosed it in the video. We just, some cars we do, some cars we don't, and this car we don't. But what I can tell you is this is one high quality vehicle. Clarity on the rear windshield, uh, the same as it was on the vent window, the driver door, the rear quarter window, real nice shape. All your chromes properly uh, installed around the rear window. The uh, vinyl top here in the back, you know, this is another problematic area where water could possibly settle if the rear window leaks and then it would rust under here because it's just bare metal underneath the uh, Vinyl top, no issues there behind the rear window on the, uh, on the car. Paint, back to the paint. Rear quarters, top of the rear quarters, both real nice. Again, these stripes are vinyl on the deck lid just as they were on the hood. Your uh, deck lid paint, real nice condition. Chrome on the rear bumper, uh, both front and rear bumpers look new, like I just stated a couple moments ago. I don't have any history on the car, so I can't tell you if they're a year old or five years old, but the chrome quality is there both in the front and in the rear. Let's pop the trunk, take a look in there. You do have a full size spare. You guys can't see it, but I'm going to tell you that there is a breaker bar in there and a jack. So you have a jack, a spare, uh, and brand new trunk mat and a solid trunk pan. No issues with the trunk pan whatsoever. And uh, real nice, even like your uh, trunk gasket there, all your paint around your trunk closure, all in real nice shape. 
Passenger side of the car. Uh, once again, the body lines, awesome. Rear quarter straight, passenger door straight, front fender. There's no waves. There's no issues whatsoever here down uh, low on the car uh, from a paint standpoint. I mentioned earlier that all four corners, all four wheel openings have the uh, chrome wheel opening moldings. They're all installed properly. They're in good shape. There's no issues with the uh, rear quarter here. Paint down low. Jump back up to our vinyl top for a moment, show you that there's no issues there with the uh, vinyl top where it meets the rear quarter on the passenger side. No issues around the drip rails. Definitely no issues up top. That's not usually an issue when you have a vinyl top. It always happens on your uh, settlement areas, your drip rail moldings, your uh, rear window, your front window, you know. Let's take a look in the passenger side of the interior of the vehicle. Uh, door panels just as nice on the passenger side as it was on the driver's side. Armrest in good shape, door panel. Uh, told you the floor mats are brand new. It is an automatic car, center console, staple shifter. Center console looks to be in good shape. Passenger side seat, same as the driver's side. I made the statement at the beginning of the video that this is a high quality car, and it is. You know, the paint, the vinyl top, the floor mats, the seats, uh, your steering wheel, your dash. You'll see when we're in the car, you got that retro radio. You can see all your uh, AC controls, real nice. Uh, this car has been well cared for uh, over its lifetime. You can tell um, by the way it presents in terms of quality. Uh, passenger side door, there's no issues down low with the paint. Does have dual mirrors, chrome. And lastly, our passenger side front fender here. Uh, no paint issues down low. I showed you two little brush touches in the uh, front nose of the vehicle. That's about it on this car. The paint's about as nice as it gets for a driver quality car. I mean, I would say eight and a half out of 10. It's pretty, uh, pretty, fall pretty flawless and standing tall. I mean, it's, You'll definitely be the uh, talk of the uh, car show with this car. This is, uh, this is an excellent uh, representation of a 1968 Chevelle. Very high quality, uh, good color. You know, uh, that uh, butternut yellow was a very popular color. Um, and it's not an all butternut yellow car. You know, you have the black vinyl top and the hood stripes and the uh, black at the bottom of the car that offsets it really, really nicely. And then the chrome Craigers gives it a great look with those raised white letter BFGs. Um, it, the car really screams American muscle car. It's a really fantastic vehicle. The undercarriage is the same way. We're going to show you that here uh, in just a moment. And then after that, we'll drop it down. We'll try to play beat the rain here in Daytona. We have uh, some tropical weather moving through, some tropical systems. So we've been uh, battling rain all week. So we're going to hope that we can keep this 1968 Chevelle clean because we're definitely going to take it out and show you how the car runs. Underneath our 1968 big block Chevelle, you have disc brakes up front. Uh, looking at the front of the pan here, you can see that the uh, front seals nice and dry. You see a little bit of the front of the pan and the side of the block there on the passenger side and it's going to be the same thing on the driver's side. Take a look at not only the uh, pan itself but also the freeze plugs up on the side of the block there. <clears throat> Moving back um, on the vehicle past the cross member you can see the uh, rear of the pan here. Driver's side. I'm not going to show you passenger side because there's a big starter in the way you can't see anything. Flywheel is covered with one of those fancy chrome covers, and they match our long tube, long tube headers. Uh, real nice headers on the vehicle, look to be newer. Uh, you're going to have a dual Flowmaster exhaust. Uh, the pipes look fantastic, look to be newer pipes. Uh, no rust holes, rot holes, pin holes in those. Let's take a look at the transmission pan. You can see that it's all nice and dry. No issues there. Speedo cables dry. 
and I'm not sure if you guys can see that tail shaft seal or not. I can barely see it, but uh, it looks like there's nothing dripping down onto the cross member or leaking out of the tail shaft seal. The uh, cross member that does support the transmission up is in nice shape. Floor pans all one solid piece throughout the entire car. Uh, driver's side all the way back, nice and solid. Passenger side all the way forward. Really fantastic looking car underneath uh, as well as on top. Uh, Flowmaster mufflers. Drum brakes in the rear of this car. Looking at our frame rails here, driver's side looks nice all the way back to the bumper. Passenger side looks nice on the uh, vehicle. Gas tank, nice and solid, uh, no dents. 12 bolt rear to match that big block up front. Uh, your exhaust continues out, uh, driver's side and passenger side and uh, turns down a little bit just under the rear bumper. Good looking 1968 big block Chevelle. Let's set it on the ground, take it on a test drive and show you how this car runs out. Remember what I said about no rain? Well, might as well check our wipers. Uh, yeah, wipers. Those work, we might need to use them a little bit. Tilt wheel, horn, does not work, we know that. The reason it doesn't work is because it is an aftermarket column. Um, so we are gonna try to make it work through the column. If not, we're gonna have to put a button in. Uh, the driver's side turn works. The passenger side turn works. The tack works. The fuel gauge works. Your uh, temp. Oil pressure and battery voltage is down below. The radio works. Retro radio, speakers work. The air works. That's low, or off, I'm sorry. And that's high. So we'll leave our air on. Um, well, let me turn on the radio a little bit. This is an auxiliary, so if you have a phone, you can hook up to the radio or whatever. That's an auxiliary for your radio. Um, let's see. 99,316 is the mileage on the odometer. Title reads exempt, so true miles unknown. Telling you in the showroom, sun visors appear to be new. Headliner appears to be new. I would say the rear view mirror is new because you can friggin, it's clear as clarity is fantastic. You have your uh, vent window cranks here to open up the vent windows. Those work. It's a great car. I won't be able to get on it too much because we just had uh, sunshine. Now with wet roads, I'll lose the SN. This thing is powerful. Um, but we'll at least take it on test drive, show you that he, uh, you know, that we can get the car up to 50, 60 miles an hour and it goes through the gears. And, doesn't overheat or explode or anything like that. So let's take it on a ride. This is new for us. Anyways, the car handles fantastic. Uh, tracks nice and straight down the road. Steering in the car is absolutely excellent. Uh, very responsive in the wheel. Um, speedo works. I got my high beams on. Yep. High beams work. <laughs> that was what the red indicator was. I got the headlights on because in the state of Florida when it's raining, it is law, you have to have your headlights on. So, uh, Speedo works. Temp, we're right about where we should be. Buck 90, 195. You know, uh, big blocks, especially in the state of Florida, they're gonna operate between probably 190 and 200. Um, you know, big blocks run hot, so. They run about 200, 454s, 427s, 396s. Uh, this thing rides like a brand new car. There are no engine vibrations, tranny vibrations, tire vibrations. Here's the brakes. 
car stops just like it should, no pulsations, vibrations whatsoever with the brakes. I wish I could show you what this car can do because it's really a powerhouse, but I will lose my rear traction if I floor it right now because in Florida when you have 150 degrees sunlight beating down on asphalt and then it rains, it's like ice. Hear it? I'm losing my, losing my rear wheels just by doing that. It's instant power, this thing is, it'll go. So we'll at least get it up to, you know, 50, 55 miles an hour here. The car shifts fantastic, like butter. You see our wax is working. <laughs> the uh, water beading off the car and off the windshield. Well, there's 55 miles an hour. 60. 55 miles an hour, no front end shimmies, no tire vibrations whatsoever. This car is fun. What a great car. AC, power steering, power brakes, butternut yellow, black vinyl top, working retro radio, we're cooling properly, good oil pressure, charging at the proper voltage. No issues with the brakes. Brand new steering wheel. Great interior. This is a very high quality 1968 Chevelle. And fully equipped. Steering, brakes, air. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hankster's.com is our website. That's where you can find all the photos of our 68 Chevelle along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our 68 Chevelle includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, which is most independent and franchised facilities. ASC is just a recognition that it's a reputable repair shop. You just can't take it to Joe's backyard garage. The warranty covers the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It doesn't cover valve cover gasket leaks. It doesn't cover oil pan gasket leaks, tranny pan gasket leaks, batteries, brakes, just major uh, components of your drivetrain internal uh, mechanical breakdowns. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? It most certainly is, within reason, of course. We negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. There's no exceptions to that rule, so. You don't have to ask that question. Also, the shipping comes off. Time is money and there's time involved in shipping these cars. We, <laughs> we, uh, we have to properly vest the, vest the carrier, make sure they're properly licensed, bonded, and insured to carry this car. We have to uh, pay the driver on pickup, arrange the pickup, Arrange the delivery, track the shipment from the time it leaves our showroom to the time it gets to you, uh, wherever you might be, in the United States or in the world. So in a negotiated cost, you're going to handle all that light work on your own. Maybe you're a collector or enthusiast and you want to uh, drive this, drive down here and trailer this beautiful 68 Chevelle home because you have your own opener and closed carrier. You're more than welcome to do that. We don't make any money off the shipping. We simply provide it as a convenience to our buyers. And then of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you can certainly drive home in ice cold air condition. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach. And once again, our website is hankster's.com. Check us out. We'd love to earn your business.